is good, YouTube? So today we're going to be showing you how to get a free green screen on Streamlabs. So this is how it'll look at first. Let me remove this one. It looks like shit. And so to get to this step, first you're going to want to open up a Zoom meeting. Let me add a display. Let me add a display capture to show you guys real quick what you gotta do. So you're gonna want to open up a Zoom meeting. Once you got that set up, it's gonna open up like this. There, let me see. So this is how a regular Zoom meeting should look. Just like straight up. I'm gonna add the green screen. To get this, you'll have to go into Paint and then uh, just paint a blank page green and then upload it to your virtual backgrounds in Zoom. You can see here it's gonna be upload. Click the plus sign. And you add it. So after that's done, it's gonna still look like shit. You're gonna wanna come over to your Streamlabs. So you're gonna wanna right click on this. You're gonna wanna go to your filters. Click the plus sign. Go down to chroma key. Click on it. And here's where you're gonna have to play with your uh, similarity and smoothness. If you see any like blacked out shit like that, it means you gotta fix it, lower it a bit. Mine looks a bit like shit because when I took the, the paint background, I wasn't wearing my hat. So you could see in between the fucking headphones, but your, yours ain't gonna be like that if you do it, if you do it right. So like, as long as you can see your hands and they don't look like too blurry and shit for a free green screen, it should be good. Like this could still be better. Just gotta find that sweet spot. Like see, as you go up, you see I'm starting to black out here can't go over 400 for my webcam depends the lighting too lighting is really key for a green screen so make sure you got some good light on you if you want it to look really smooth I'm gonna lower the smoothness to about 60 that should be good so when you click done you're gonna see it's gonna be like this you're gonna have your two little bars on top to get rid of that go back on your zoom meeting and just click full screen on the on the app and when you go back to your Streamlabs there, there's not going to be no bar anymore so this is where you could like minimize it put it wherever you want i know a lot of streamers they put it here in the middle so when they're playing the game in the background you can see everything like say i were to add um, a game capture right now to show you guys how it would look so say that you'd have your game in the background you put this where i would usually put it like bottom left or depending on the game you're playing and like I said, the chair and all that, it will be better as long as you, like when you do your paint in the Zoom meeting, just make sure you have on what you're going to wear for your stream, like your hat, headphones, shit like that. Because if not, it won't work too good. Well, I mean, for a free green screen, this is still, it's still decent, you know? But the better the lighting is too, the better you like shit you'll capture. Well, I find it looks pretty clear, but it's just a little blurry. <clears throat> say we were to start up a game right now show you guys how it looks I guess they don't want us to sign in. Shows connection lost, but <laughs> so this is how it would look in a Warzone game, Call of Duty. In your green screen, you move it around wherever you want. You want it lower, smaller. You want to be a giant, take up the whole fucking page. You can do that too for a picture. You know, a lot of people on YouTube they take pictures like new meta and they're like this, holding up the fucking gun and shit. But green screen is how you have what you got to do for that. 
you want it really to be clear, you should just invest the forty dollars, twenty dollars. You can buy cheap green screens online. But for now, like if you guys just want a free smooth green screen, I recommend using this way. I used it for a bit. I got a real green screen now, but um, this was the method I started with, and it's it's pretty clutch. Like it, it looks clear, clear enough to stream with, you know. But like I said, the headset and that shit moving in the back, that was just because I didn't set it up properly. But you guys could do a better job. Like I